here we are at another Connecting the Generations event. Connecting the Generations started out as a one-time event back in May of 1993 to celebrate National Older Americans Month. But because of the request from the parents and the children and the seniors, it's grown ever since then into a monthly event. And here we are a year and a half later, still getting together every month. Let's uh, go and check out what's happening today, and we'll also show you highlights from the whole year and talk to some of the seniors and some of the children. This is Connecting the Generations 1994. We have such a wide age group here. The children range from 4 to 5, and the seniors go up to 103. So we have from 4 to 103. And what, does, what do the seniors do you think get out of this? Well, they look forward to the children coming, and they're real anxious that they're, when they come and, and they have a, a special bond, it seems, when they get here, you know, the closeness. And because some residents don't have grandkids, and so it's kind of a good experience for both the children and the residents. Open Mercy Center, we had an adult program as well as a child care program. So we were open to the idea of an intergenerational program from the beginning. Now we no longer have adults, so we're thrilled to share the adults here at Rosewood. To the children, it's visiting the grandmas and grandpas. Yeah. That's what they refer to the Rosewood citizens as. Um, for the parents, they are thrilled because many of them do not have extended family here in Bakersfield and so this is an addition to their children's lives. And for the adults here, I think they are thrilled every time we come through the door. If we could, you know, get even more adults here, um, I'm thrilled that Time Warner has supported us and given us funds to buy supplies and refreshments. You've been wonderful. And Virginia, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you are so faithful about coming every month and why you think this is important. We meet once a month and it's just a fun time for everybody. We all look forward to it. And uh, oftentimes, these children don't have par grandparents or some that don't live close to them. And this way, they understand what a grandparent is. And they make a real bond with their partner here. I turned 103 in September, which it's a surprise to me as to everybody else. Oh, you look beautiful. Thank you. And Kevin, this is your friend Kevin that you've got today. Hi, Kevin. Hi. How old are you, Kevin? He has a beautiful smile. He does. He's cute. Do you want to come back again and visit Emma? Did you have fun today? And what was it that you made today? Cake. I just enjoy uh, being with boys and girls. I have grandchildren of my own, and, and they're all grown up now, but I still enjoy being with children uh, uh, and knowing what they're doing, and, and I know that perhaps I can help them in some way. The Connecting the Generation program has now expanded to include the children from Mercy Child Care Center. These children visit Mercy Hospital on a monthly basis. They get to tell stories, sing songs, and do crafts with the patients at the skilled nursing facility. I love kids. Oh, and they can just make your day. I worked with kids and Sunday school classes. Well, where they listen so rapidly to the stories, and uh, it reminds me of when I was a child. But I think the very most special is human contact, the hugs. I think hugs are just terrific and uh, leaves a real, real warm feeling with the patients. They haven't hugged a child in a long time and hugs are really very therapeutic, I think. Connecting the Generations Community Outreach Program has been extremely successful because we are truly making a positive difference in people's lives. We look forward to expanding the program further so we can bring the sharing of songs, stories, love, and laughter to many more seniors and children. Time Warner Cable, not only connecting cable television, we're also connecting the generations.